Alright, Survivors, Polly Jr. here. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die with yours truly, Paulina Pudgewood. It is now day 18, just a little bit past 7 p.m. in the evening, and Paulina is out on a joyride tonight. She wants to go on a joyride. She just couldn't wait any longer to take her new motorcycle out. Uh, she calls it the Rhino, by the way. Hey, hey buddy, you like the bike? There's a biker right there. <laughs> uh, get your own. It wasn't that hard to make. Just need a little bit of metal and stuff. All right, anyway. Oh, there's Merle. Merle. Merle's off work right now, obviously. Um, let's... Oh, there's something over there. What the heck is that? Pink trim building. Let's check the map. We're just going to go north, I think, right along this main highway into this uncharted territory. And see what we can find. Again, no pressure, just a casual night ride in the night. I think we can outrun any zombies, even when they get fast at 2200 hours. We do have a little bit of time before that happens. Oh, look at this. Girls, 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 girls. It's a girls club. Billy Jeans, you're not allowed in the girls club. It's the booby trap. <laughs> the booby trap girls club. Look at that, Paulina. Paulina's going to be right at home here. Oh, they're open too. Unfortunately, I cannot go in there with you, Paulina. So, I, I can't watch your back. We'll come back to the booby trap. I want to stay on target here and just go for the joyride. What we're really looking for is... Um, we're looking for a trader uh, to hopefully purchase a crucible that we can use in our forge and start forging steel. Or a um, maybe uh, one of those bookstores. I think it's called a cracker book. Or any, anywhere with books, really. I'm not sure what else has books. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy does it. Try to stay on the road, all right? You don't want to pop a tire out here. Especially with the sun going down, you know what I mean? So that's what we're looking for, ostensibly. But I think, really, Paulina just wants to take a joyride in, on, her, on her rhino. <laughs> I love this thing. It's amazing. Oh, piggy wiggy. Hold it up. I think we should... I think we... No, do we... Yeah, let's get him. Roadkill! Bonk! kill him? I don't want to do very much damage to the bike. Oh, he's not quite dead. Get out of the way, pig. Yeah, I wish these spikes would do more damage. You would think they would. Oh, you want to play chicken? What do you think about that? Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> Holy cow. I also don't want to waste time and gas with this pig here. Bang. By the way, if you hold down shift, you do get a burst of speed. But it might use more more gas. I don't know. Oh, bonk. Oh, I missed. All right, enough playing around with this pig. We're just going to get right past him. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. We don't really need your meats or anything, so beat it. Let's keep going. Hi, buddy. Looks like he's heading home after a hard day of work. Hard day of work. That might be his car right there. Maybe his car broke down. You think we should go help him? No, he probably has AAA. Well, maybe he doesn't have triple A because he's walking. Oh, there's Merle again. And that guy gets around. It's a house on the lake. Uh, hold up. Is that, it's not a trader over there, is it? No, I don't think so. All right, let's check the map. So, yeah, we haven't really gone very far. <laughs> Just messing around. Let's see if we can catch some air here. Woohoo! Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Oh, here we go. I see buildings. I see a town. Fantastic. All right, we got 57% gas. That's plenty. And uh, we have a couple of hours before the sun goes down and the zombies get fast. So let's see what we can find here. Anything new? Um, I can't quite read that over there. What do we have here? Oh, a repair shop. Ooh, wait a second now. Repair shop, check it out. An old wheel out front. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a carriage right there. A wagon, right? The old wagon. Metalworks. Oh my gosh, metalworks. They must have a workbench in there, right? I wonder if we could just find a crucible. That would be epic. Or maybe a, a recipe for a crucible some, uh, some, somewhere in one of those 
repair shop or the metal workshop. Well, we'll come back. Just put that in the back of your mind. You know it's there. We can always come back. O'Malley Oats. Wow! Holy smokes, that little bunny scared me. Um, this is all wrecked up over here. Buddy's Grain. Oh, this place is open. Home Depot's open. Oh, I just popped a wheelie. <laughs> All right, well, we didn't need to go to Home Depot. There's a mansion over here. That's pretty nice. Big, big house. All right, well, nothing too spectacular yet. Let's go back this way. Still have a little time before it gets dark. Um, can traders exist inside towns? I wonder. I don't think so. Oh, here we go. We got a diner. Diner with shakes and drinks. And we have... Oh, here's a crack a book. Crack a book. Right here, next to the store more, and Zomlove Munches Carpet. A oh, 100 Zomlove is just a billboard. Oh, what is up there? I see sandbags. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, and Munches Carpet, and then something down at the end here. This is Dicks. All right. Well, we're not in the market. All right. Well, we don't need to go to Dicks right now, but we could. Go in the cracker book. And we have a little bit of time before the zombies get fast. So let's kill the lights. Hop off old Rhino. I'm gonna leave Rhino right in the street. And I think we're gonna head into Cracker Book. Although I wonder, can we get some gas? Um, we could actually get gas from this thing, right? If we tear it down with a wrench, but that's gonna take time. And it's going to be loud, and I don't think we have the time because it's going to get crazy here in a minute. However, I think what we might do is climb up on top of this building right here and place down the, uh, the bedroll in case we die. Because, like I said, it's going to get nutty here in a very short time. The zombie is going to get super fast. And if we do happen to die, I'd like to have a quick, easy fallback point. And this looks perfectly safe right here. Looks clear. In fact, we got a purse right here, too. Uh, empty. Medical supplies. Blood bag and a splint. All right, not very useful. Is there anybody up here? Looks like it's clear. Oh, hold up. Hold it up. We got a... Is that a big mama? Big mama sleeping on the roof up here. <laughs> and here's somebody else. Sounds like they're inside. But this looks like a great place to chill tonight. Yes, we can do that. I mean, in case we die. That way we don't have to go all the way back home. Uh, oh, look, look at this. We can we can sneak in right there. However, I don't think I want to clear this building right now. I don't really care about it. But we'll put this down. Now that it's clear. And now we have a uh, respawn point. Oh, great. Some dudes down there. They heard us. They heard us. Let's take a look and see what's down there. Hello? Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, look at this. We have a hidden gun and ammo. And I'm going to leave it right there. Because <laughs> that'll give us uh, a gun and ammo in case we need it. Because we're gonna, if we do die, we're going to drop everything in our hands, right? Yes, that is how that works. So, all right, let's go. Crank up the light. It's starting to get dark. Um, and we're going to go right down to the crack a book. Crack a book. Let's go crack a book. We're going to do this quick because we don't have much time. In fact, there's no way we're going to be able to do this tonight all in one play. Should we go around back? I don't know. I think he's... Oh, my gosh. All right. Yeah, there's definitely somebody in there. Oh, Billy Jeans is at the crack of book. I didn't know Billy Jeans could even read. All right. Well, we can't get in that way because that thing is super solid. Oh, my gosh. It's going to get nutty here, guys, very, very soon. Uh, how else can we get up? Billy Jeans is banging on the wall. Wants to get out. Right, I guess I'll take that stuff. There's a door. It's locked. I'll come back for all these random junk piles and stuff later. Just want to get in. Just want to get... Oh, look at this army truck. Parked in the back. That's weird. Oh, we got soup. And... Well, I'll just take it all. I don't use clubs, but I can break that club down. Somebody come in. Oh gosh, guys, it's gonna be dark here. Any, 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 any second. We gotta get in. We gotta get up somehow. Um, do I have any more ladders? Yes. I hear a lot of feet. Let's go up right here. <laughs> get on the roof. I don't like being down here. It's scary. 
We check the door first, I guess. Yeah, it's locked. Up, up, up. Come on, Paulina, you can do it. Alright, anybody up here? I hear feet. Like, where's that? I don't know where that's coming from. Oh, here we go. We got a light. That's good. Lights are good. Up here. Perfect. Roof looks relatively clear, although it sounds like we've been we've been had. Oh, open room. All right. Yeah, food pile. Look at that. What is that? More, more pears. Let's eat this uh, soup. Break some of this stuff down. Don't need the glass. Break that down. Break the club down. All right. Moving in. Nobody here? I'm not going to loot any of this stuff right now. I'm really mostly interested in the books. If we can find bookshelves. Oh, perfect. Okay, I don't like the stairs. They look weak. But that's nice having those spikes there. So we'll be relatively protected from that side. Uh-oh. I just heard a bump. Did you guys hear a bump? Whoa! Oh, man! Hi! Uh, yes, it's a home invasion. <laughs> Give me all your stuff. All right, guys, we got 10 minutes of game time before it gets crazy. It's gonna get cray cray. Let's go up to the roof quick, clear the roof. We can always fall back to the roof. Make sure there's no birds up here. I hate those dang things. Oh, look at this. We got a catwalk that goes to the other side. People running or moving around out there. I just don't see them. Might as well check the trash, nothing. Alright, where's that cracker book? That is actually over here. This is just a home. We'll come back to the home later. Is this safe? Feels safe. Well, it's not safe. But there's metal under. Uh oh. It's time. It's time. It's now night. Officially. And I'm scared. Oh, somebody here. Oh gosh, it's a fast lady. It's a fast lady and a fast guy without a head. Or a weird head. He's dead. Oh. Got an army guy. Oh, bird. Bird. Army guy. Bird. Everything's coming at once. Stop. Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Oh. Businessman. I guess he never made it home after all. <laughs> Didn't we see him on the streets earlier? I think we stay right here. And kill anybody that comes after us right now. Seems like a good spot to do that. Um, did that bird get us? I think the bird got Paulina just a tad, so let's eat and heal. Will that help? Somewhat. Alright, I hear a lot of movement around here. Yeah, so much for our joyride, huh? <laughs> well, it was joyful getting here, but now it's a little stressful. But this is fun. I love this stuff. Yeah, I think the bird got us. That would be cool. All right, I think we can put up some walls like this. Oh, here's a dude coming. I see a head. All right, I'm gonna shoot it right off. What I'm gonna do? Oh, it's the big guy. He ain't dead. He's gonna get up. Come on, get up! I know you're down there. Now he's dead. All right, I don't like shooting the rifle up here. Is it loud? Is that a suitcase? That's a suitcase. But we don't really have much choice. Okay. Let's head inside. Let's see, how do we get in? Oh, there's another army man. Got him. Right through that helmet. This is a powerful weapon. All right, we got, looks like a fire escape right here. Is this gonna go inside? Uh, no, it goes, wait, where does that go? Hold up. There's gotta be another way in. How about this thing right here? Can we blast through here? Some of these, those metal gratings are weak. Some are super strong like that one. Um, I see a lamp down there. Oh, we can get in here. All right, here we go. Here we go. 
This looks promising. Suitcase. Ooh, nice shorts. Very nice shorts. All right, down here we go. Another lantern here. It's always a good sign. Um, where does this go? Let's go down here. Are we in the cracker book yet? Oh, this just goes out back. There's that light. This looks like a nice safe spot. <laughs> there's the army truck. Now this does not look safe. Oh, there's a guy getting in, trying to get his Billy Jeans, banging on the door. All right, Billy Jeans dead. Uh oh, here they come. She dead? She dead. All right. Um, here's a window. If we can get in it. Oh gosh. <laughs> we're on the sill, but we're not in. Oh, somebody on the other side. Hello? You mind whacking that window for a bit? No, over here, dummy. Over here, dummy. No, hey, hey. Over here, I said. All right, I think he's a goner. Whew, this is crazy. Is this the cracker book? I'm kind of lost now. This does not look like a cracker book. <laughs> Going in. Get the chairs out of the way. All right, we got a door. Close the door. Ammo pile, beautiful. There we go. More ammo for the handgun. That's nice. Something in here. If I can just squeeze my hand through there. Pony's got nice slim hands. All right. How are we doing for thirst? Because it looks like we got some water here. Ah, oh, we're doing fine. I think that's soup hydrated. Door's locked. Don't like dead ends. Got this way. Nice big kitchen here. So dark. Whoa! Oh, scared me. What is this? Okay, try not stepping on the piles of trash. It makes a noise. Alright, this does not look like a cracker book to me. Still looking for bookshelves. That was the whole point. Yeah, stop. Oh, here's the um here's the sandbags that I saw. I was hoping for some kind of military bag or something. Cold weather! Oh, it's cold here. You are cold. Take shelter, equip a torch, or build a campfire. Cool. See, we should have packed a coat. What is Paulina wearing right now? I think she's got shorts on. Yeah, she's wearing shorts. <laughs> no wonder she's cold. And no sleeves, no jacket. And a tank top. I should have brought a coat. You know, I almost did that. I looked at the stuff we had on the motorcycle, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe we should pack some cold gear. Cold weather gear. But I didn't think it was going to be that cold here. So we have to remember to do that. We'll go back. We'll get back home. After this craziness, we'll put... Um, Put some warm clothing on the motorcycle. Assuming we survive tonight, that is. All right, might as well check these cabinets while we're up here. Maybe find some food and then get to the cracker book. All right, let's keep moving. Let's find that cracker book. That was the whole point of coming here in the first place. And I'm pretty sure all these buildings are connected somehow. I hear feet, lots of feet. Moving around. I think they're all outside. Man, so many empty bottles. Useless. Oh, yeah. Somebody out there. Somebody out there. Shh. I don't think we're being very stealthy with the headlamp. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're fooling anybody. Trash. Whoa. Oh. Holy cow. Ow. 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 Okay. I hear lots of motion. Let's reload. Oh, they're coming through the door. They're coming through the door. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Let's let's uh, let's fall back. Fall back. Can we close doors in there? No. Oh, there's a sleeper in there. How is he not hearing any of this? All right. We take him on the stairs. Take him on the stairs with the handgun. I think we got this. Um. Sometime today, huh, people? Oh, here they come. 
What is taking them so long? Oh. oh somebody over there in the backyard. All right, we're gonna go. We're just gonna go over here and help them. They seem to be stuck or lost or something. Oh, oh, they're still trying to get through. Billy James. <laughs> what up, Billy? All right. Check that tea rash. Somebody banging through the brick wall over there. I think we're okay. Let's keep moving. Let's get to that crack of book. Boxes. Box rental. Oh, check the cart. Oh, yeah. Lockpicks and Shotgun Messiah, Volume 7. We already have that one. I suppose we can sell it. This door's unlocked. Bathroom. All right. Check everything. Check everything. This bandage. Actually, that is going to come in handy right now. Let's go ahead and eat some pear. Uh oh. Somebody just. Somebody just. Made it inside, I think. Sounded like somebody just made it inside. But I don't think they know where we are yet. Oh, it's Billy G's again! <laughs> Billy! Uh, oh, there's something in there. I see a, bo I see a uh, box, a nice box, and there's a backpack or something up top. Alright, we're gonna head that way. Gonna bang through that door in a second, but first. Let's go over this way. Where the heck are we? Oh, here's a bunch of cardboard boxes. Nice. Empty. Come on. All empty. Utility cart. Paper. This other box. Okay, this is just box rental, apparently. So that's why all the boxes are empty. I don't know why I'm squatting. I'm not fooling anybody. Well, maybe they can't hear me when I'm squatting. But they can hear when you're moving fast. And stepping on trash, right? Oh! Somebody in there! Merle! Merle! See, that's one of those weak, weak metal walls. Oh, these are storage containers. I see. This is a storage um, unit. Merle's purse! Yeah, 11 bucks. 11 dollars. That means we can probably smash through this one, right? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, this is technically a crime. Breaking into someone's storage unit and stealing their stuff. <laughs> Just don't tell anybody. Let's see what they have in here. Old sham sandwich. All right, well, still haven't found the uh, crack of it. Billy G's again? Holy cow, this guy. Just can't get rid of him. Alright, let him work on that door while we look around a little. And, well, that's gonna be some slow going. <laughs> oh, here we go. I see a box. Nobody here? Nobody here. Crack a book! We're in the crack a book! Finally! We made it! Alright, can I put this here? I wonder. All right, well, we're just going to have to do this quick. Oh, gosh. There's a door right here that's wide open. Somebody smashed. Oh, here comes Billy. <laughs> oh, I can shoot through this thing, but I can't. Oh, use the, uh, can't use my spear. All right, that works, too. Somebody heard that. Somebody definitely heard that. Oh, hi, it's the Brainiac. Right, get off my, my bars. She likes to read at the crack -a book Fill up that brain. All right, let's open up the crack -a book Hopefully we get some good schematics. And what do we get? A bipod schematic. That sounds pretty good. Might be good for the rifle or something, right? Nice. Let's check it out. Bipod mod. Increases accuracy in handling when aiming weapons. Any weapon? Really? We can make that with forged iron. Oh, that's going to be easy to make. That would be nice on the um, on the AK to make it a little more stable. Oh, another crack of book up here. Let's see what we got. How about a crucible? I love a crucible. A lucky looter. Volume 6. Ooh, yeah. Let's get 
close that door for a second. I don't know what's in there. And let's break some stuff down. And lead. Don't need it. We've got lead when we need lead. And paper. We'll get paper when we need paper. Office chair. We have a lucky looter. Food. The only fast food these days comes in a can. This tip will help you scrounge up a bit more. I like it. There we go. And banded armor plating mod schematic. We don't really use banded armor. But we'll learn it anyway. Never stop learning. Best advice. All right, I think we're finally in Cracker Book, and that was the back room. So let's clear it out first. Make sure there's nobody here. Oh, the cash register's nice. And then when we're finished here, we'll go back on our joy ride and head home. There's a book a bookcase. Beautiful. Yeah, that's the uh, wall that we banged on. First second or two outside. <laughs> Let's check the bookcases. We got a structural brace mod. Silence of the Lamb's Quest. A strange note I found while looting. It's from Crazy Jake Clan. Okay. Reading the schematic will teach you how to craft this item. Right. Some kind of a structural mod. Great heist. We already have that one. We've already read that one. Give me something new. Motor tool small tank mod schematic. Okay. Oh, look at this. The Hunter's Journal. Self-defense. Don't become the prey by using these tips to stop would-be attackers. Do 10% more damage to humans. Oh. What humans? There's no humans here. Useless. And a bike schematic. I mean, the bipod schematic is, is really the best one at this point. The only one that's useful. Oh. Oh! Where did she come from? Oh boy. Reload! Here they come! Billy Jeans! Billy, I thought we were friends! You stay right there to think about what you've done. Oh wow, look at all the bookcases up here, guys! There's a ton of them! Alright, let's clear the place first, I suppose. Although, I imagine if anybody's up there, they would have heard that shooting! <laughs> Never can tell. Some of these zombies are very heavy sleepers. Glad we haven't run into a white. Probably shouldn't say that too loudly. Jinx myself. Oh, I think I hear something. Alright, that'll do. I think that'll do. I think that'll do. I should slow anything down that decides to come up that way. At the very least. We'll be ready for it. All right. Now we can loot in peace. Relative peace, that is. Oh, pills are good. Yeah, there's a few feats out there. Let's do this quick. Um, another great heist. It's a different one. Use adrenaline to your full advantage. You can fall up to 15 meters without taking damage. Well, I've got a nice boot mod that already does that. <gasps> Marksman rifle schematic. Look at that thing, guys. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna read them quick. Learn them, and then we'll check out all the recipes later. Oh, look at that shotgun. Pump shotgun schematic. Another quest. Keep breaking this stuff down. Yeah, I hear all the footsteps and pounding. Fortifying grip mod. I find those things everywhere. Anyway, so that's not super useful. I don't want to miss any. Man, Cracker Book is amazing. Watch these floors. I don't trust the floors. Art of mining. Coffee. Miners thrive on coffee. Harvest 10% more ores when buzzed from coffee. It's going to give us a reason to drink more coffee. As if you need a reason, right? Okay, I don't like that hole there. Yeah, I hear a lot of feats out there. Oh, look, there's our little backup uh, bedroll. Okay, I think we're okay up here. I don't think anybody can get up. Of course, I'm not entirely sure about that. Is there? Hold on, let me just bust up here. Ah, oh, I see somebody. Let's go up to the roof. No, that goes down to the street level. Oh, there's Rhino. Hi, Rhino. <laughs> Rhino's down there. By the way, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. At 4, the 
zombies will calm down and get slow again. So we can we can finally leave. Although if we make it to our bike right now, I bet we could um, I bet we could outrun them on the motorcycle. I don't like this one bit. This does not look good here. Hold up. Yeah, these I think these are weaker storage units. Oh, cowboy guy! Holy smokes! Ah, punk! 